New at 6, it's a decision that victims of domestic violence have to make every single day. Stay in an abusive situation or get out, but leave their beloved pets behind. Now, a South Florida shelter is embarking on a big project to make sure women never have to choose. CBS 4's Silva Harapetian explains. He killed one of my dogs, stomped him to death over her sunglasses. For many, pets are part of the family. Now imagine domestic violence victims having to choose between their pet and their safety. It got worse when he was beating my animals. And it was either me or the animals. And unfortunately, sometimes I picked them over me and I, I regret that every single day of my life. This domestic violence survivor did not want to be identified. Her boyfriend beat her, killed one of her dogs, and threatened to kill her second dog. She didn't want to give him up, so she stayed and had nowhere to turn. Nearly half of people who are in an abusive and often dangerous situation have said they won't leave or they're fearful of leaving because they know their pet could be harmed or killed. So this is a real barrier. Mary Riddle, CEO of Women in Distress in Broward County, says they're partnering with the Humane Society of Broward County and Bank of America to create a safe environment for survivors to house and protect their pets while they're staying in women in distress emergency shelters. Bank of America awarded Women in Distress the Neighborhood Builders Grant $200,000 to help build a new pet shelter. We believe in building better communities for people, our associates, our clients to work and live in. And so this is part of that investment. Women in Distress receive more than 200 calls on their crisis hotline on a yearly basis and houses 800 people in their emergency shelter. Some of those families have had to give up their pets, choosing between their family member and their safety. It's hard heart-wrenching to know that um, an animal is such an important part of their family and they can't keep it. Maybe if they had a shelter for dogs, I would have been out a lot sooner and my other one would still be here. Women in Distress has already started planning for this new addition. They say they will be ready to take on families with their pets like Gunner here as soon as 18 months from now. I'm Silva Harapetti on CBS4 News.